Welcome to the Funeral Funds Life Insurance Podcast. I'm your host, Randy Vandervate from Funeral Funds of America, and you can find us at funeralfunds.com. That's funeral, F-U-N-D-S dot com. Whether you're interested in term life, whole life, mortgage protection, annuities, disability, business continuation, or final expense life insurance, we have you covered. Our team of experienced professionals will guide you through the complexities of insurance products to help you make an informed decision. So in this podcast, I'm going to be discussing, do you need mortgage protection insurance? Now, a lot of people get confused by mortgage protection insurance and something called PMI, private mortgage insurance, vastly different products. Let me give you a very simplified and unrealistic explanation of of what what PMI is. And it's unrealistic because I'm going to use a home value of $100,000 because it's easy math. Pretty hard to buy a $100,000 home these days, but it's easy math. So if when you bought your $100,000 house, if you put $20,000 down, uh, you would only be financing 80% of the actual home value. If that's the case, they the the mortgage company won't charge you PMI. They won't force you to get private mortgage insurance. Now, if you only put $10,000 down and now you've got a $90,000 mortgage, they are going to force you. You cannot opt out of it. They will force you to take private mortgage insurance. And it doesn't protect your family, your loved ones, your spouse, your children in any way. It protects the mortgage company. And the reason is, is it's going to cost money to sell a house. They're going to they're going to lose 6% just on the real estate agent fee and all that stuff closing that out. They're going to have lawyers fees, they're going to have time that their money's tied up in the home and not out making more money. The you just the actual they they can't have that money work for them the time value of money. There's a number of things. And if you only put down $10,000 and you you default on the mortgage they're going to be behind. They're going to be behind. The, the home value is going to be 90000 and they're going to, it's going to cost more than $10,000 to sell the house and get everything taken care of, and they will lose money. So they make you take insurance out to protect them in, in case something like happens. Now, you, you might be saying, well, why 20%? Well, because it's not going to, if $100,000 house, it's not going to cost $20,000 to sell that house and do the foreclosure proceedings and all the lawyers fees and all that stuff. And now they can at least get their money out of it. Um, simple math is if you're buying a, a million dollar house, you have to put $200,000 down to get that 80% threshold. But again, it protects the mortgage company. It does not protect in the event of a death. Now, you know, the, the reason you might lose the house could be as a result of the death, it, but it also could be uh, a divorce or you lost your job or something like that. Mortgage protection insurance itself has to do with death if you die. So mortgage protection insurance is optional life insurance. It's a life insurance policy actually designed to protect your mortgage in specific situations. Typically, it's a term life insurance policy. And the reason it's a term life insurance policy is because term is less expensive than whole life insurance and uh, the idea when you get a mortgage is to keep your costs low. And one thing people like about mortgage protection insurance is it just it just protects the home itself. And think about it. If, if, you're, if you're married uh, or in a relationship, you've got kids or something like that, and God forbid something did happen to you one day and you don't make a home, most people would want to make sure that their, their family and loved ones aren't uprooted and, you know, in the middle of an already emotionally turbulent time uh, with tragedy just everywhere around at that point and have them lose the house. You know, you just, they don't want tragedy be, to be compounded. So when does, you know, when does mortgage protection make sense? Well, it depends on your financial situation. So if you've got a substantial amount of savings or an investment, that may be kind of already acting as your safety net uh, in unforeseen circumstances, the, ch the challenge with that is life happens, right? So, you know, maybe you are in an accident and, you know, you've got a bunch of medical bills or you get sued or something like that. Any number of things, that money can go away pretty quickly. And there's your little nest egg to protect the, the home. So in that situation, a lot of people just say, hey, you know, 
for a few dollars or whatever dollars it is a month to get a mortgage protection policy to make sure that my mortgage is paid off, God forbid something happens like that, then, uh, you know, to me, it's worth it to make sure my family is going to have a home to stay in. So um, also, if you've got a $500,000 mortgage, it doesn't always mean that you need to have a $500,000 mortgage protection plan. And the reason is, is let's say you've got uh, yourself and a spouse or a partner and your equal incomes and God, God forbid one of you passes away, you may not need the entire mortgage paid off. It would be really cool, right? It'd be really cool if it did. But if, if you guys were uh, gals or guys or gals were, you know, struggling a little bit kind of, you know, month to month, like so many people in America, maybe, maybe you just take out mortgage protection for half the mortgage. And then what happens if, if one of you passes away, the other can use that money to pay off half the mortgage and then refinance it down. Now the mortgage payment's cut in half and they should be able to stay in the house. So that's, uh, there's, there's plenty of ways of looking at this. If you're working with a knowledgeable life insurance agent or broker like us at Funeral Funds of America here. Another, another consideration is, do you have existing life insurance? You know, you may have enough life insurance already that you've kind of by default have some mortgage protection money kind of built in there in your existing life insurance. I will tell you though, that most of America is way underinsured as far as life insurance. A lot of people go, well, you know, I've got life insurance through my employer. And well, how much do you have? Well, they'll pay me one year of my salary. Well, if if you've got family or loved ones and you pass away and they only get a check for one year worth of your income, I mean, that's just going to replace your income. What happens in the mortgage? What Again, what if you have a $500,000 mortgage or $250,000 mortgage? It's not going to take care of that. It only just replaces your income for another year. In many cases, that just provides money for them to sell the house and get the house, get out of the house, which is not ideal. You know, most people don't want to be uprooted out of a house that you've got all the memories and everything and that you work together. Most people would rather have that house protected and you could stay in that house and be reminded constantly of the love that that person had for you, that they actually protected and provided for you so that when God forbid that day came, you'd be able to keep the house. So mortgage protection works terrifically to protect mortgage. And we can we can sp split it up in any number of different directions, whether we, whether we do the whole mortgage or we do part of the mortgage or whether we just look at ramping everything up and bundling everything up in a larger life insurance plan. And we can help you out with that as well. A couple of other things factor in here. Uh, you know, employment and health stability. If you've got a good secure job and, you know, the chances of you defaulting on that mortgage may be lower, but just remember, if you've got a job, you're working for somebody else and you don't call the shots. Now, if you own a company, you call more of the shots, but you accept more of the risk too, right? So businesses go out of business all the time and most people just want to make sure that they keep the house. The other thing is uh, stability of health, right? None of us absolutely none of us knows what's going to happen 20 years from now or 10 years, much less than 10 or 20 seconds from now. And life changes in the blink of an eye. And having this insurance in place just provides the peace of mind that God forbid, when the worst does come to visit a family, that the mortgage is going to be paid for or paid down and then can then be refinanced to a manageable level. Now, some other things factor in here too, uh, kind of mortgage terms and conditions. So, so sometimes mortgages have built-in protection options, like maybe a disability, job loss protection, maybe make the payments in a little bit. But those are typically just temporary things. You need to review those, have a really good understanding of those. Sometimes uh, in the mortgage companies will offer some insurance that will pay out in a death. And it's super, it's super affordable, meaning it's super cheap, but it's also super cheap insurance. It's accidental death insurance. And, you know, the chances of you dying in an accidental death are fairly small. Um, you know, sometimes that insurance can be very affordable and the peace of mind just from accidental can, can be terrific. Uh, we can help you out with that as well. 
But most people understand that the biggest threat out there is going to be, it's, it's going to be some sort of medical or health related cause of death. And most people don't just die instantly on the spot. A lot of people die after a prolonged medical, medical problems or challenges or anything like that. And they're in the hospitals and stuff like that. And there's also a lot of medical bills. So you can use that life insurance, not only to protect the medical bills, but make sure, because if you're married, then uh, the bills of one partner are going to have to be paid by the other partner who's going to be around and living even after the other one's passed away. So having some life insurance money to not only protect the mortgage, but also any other expenses. And then the last thing to consider is kind of just your risk tolerance and kind of, you know, how well you want to sleep at night, maybe kind of that peace of mind. So some people just are are willing to risk it and they, they don't they don't kind of really care about the the ramifications or what happens to people after they're gone. They kind of live in the moment. Uh, some people would say that's kind of selfish. And I, I would imagine that, you know, the the spouse or the partner of those type of people would like to see see a change in them that, you know, actually considers their needs after they're gone instead of just one person's temporary needs. So yeah, mortgage protection insurance is really critical for so many folks. With so much of America living paycheck to paycheck, it, it, it's if you miss one or two payments, the house is probably gone for most folks. So mortgage protection can really help out there. One other thing, jumping back to the PMI, I just want to leave you with this because, um, you know, if you don't, ha if you didn't put the twenty percent down, once your remaining mortgage amount is eighty percent of the total value of the home then you can cancel that PMI. And think about that. We've seen that in a lot in the real estate market that home values have gone up just like exponentially. So you may have only put $10,000 down and theoretically your home could go up in value another $10,000 within four to six months. And now you would meet that 80% 80, 80 threshold. Now you can request they cancel the PMI. And now that you're not paying that PMI, you can actually get affordable mortgage protection insurance that's going to protect your house for the rest of your life. And it doesn't matter if you've got a 10-year mortgage or a 15-year mortgage or a 30-year mortgage. Uh, you know, you, you can get all of those coverage amounts and term life insurance depending on your age. So there's so mortgage protection is really a, an exciting one. I guess from an insurance standpoint, uh, in that there's so many different ways to handle it and get protection and fit it within people's budgets that it's almost a no-brainer in, in almost every case for folks. So there you go. That's my thoughts on do you need mortgage protection insurance. My name is Randy Vandervate, and I hope this podcast has been helpful to you. Funeral Funds of America can help you qualify for first aid coverage or benefits at funeralfunds.com. That's funeralfunds.com. And our phone number is 888-862-9456. We will be blessed to help you with this in the future. Until that day comes, stay safe, take care, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.